We talk about asparagus seeds almost every year because I'm just so happy that they exist. So on your asparagus plants, right, I've got a bunch in this bed. All these beds have a bunch of asparagus plants in them. And if you have a female asparagus plant and it gets fertilized, it will create one of these little berries. Within the berry are a bunch of seeds. So while I'm picking here, each one of these has four to seven seeds in it. Let's go take a look at some. I've got the table, same table here. We've got the gladiola corms, but let's take uh, one of these out and just open it up and see how many seeds we have. So these big black things are seeds. Okay, this one's got five in it. So one, two, three, four, five seeds. Now the beauty of the asparagus seed is you can leave it like this and plant it now in the winter time and just let it overwinter in place. And then in the spring, it will just naturally come up. Asparagus seeds need to stratify just like garlic does. So that means that these need to get nice and cold for eight to 12 weeks or about the length of a winter. So what I do is I, I used to um, just keep them cold in the garage and then plant them in the spring. But what I've been doing lately is just picking them and planting them where I want them to be next year. And what happens is, is these little balls keep the seeds from um, getting in contact with the soil too early and try to bloom too early, try to grow too early, excuse me, and they keep it from freezing too much. So it's the perfect little vessel. It's almost like it was designed to do that, right? So collect your little red balls of joy and then go ahead and just plant them away and wait for the springtime and reap what you sowed. Also beautiful thing to give away to people. Asparagus crowns are so expensive. This is quite a gift. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I have a whole series on uh, planting asparagus from seed, but another unusual thing you may not realize goes to seed. Thanks for watching. Right, Sarah?